Ned explains the rules of association football. Association football, more commonly known as soccer in North America, and football pretty much everywhere else in the world, is a game played with two teams of 18 players, with 11 players taking the field at any one time. The object of the game is for your team to score more goals than the opposing team. To score a goal, you must put the ball in your opponent's goal. For it to count, the whole of the ball must cross the goal line. In football, you're allowed to touch the ball with every part of your body except your arms. The main way to move the ball is to kick the ball to a teammate, which is known as a pass, or run with the ball whilst controlling it with your feet, known as dribbling. When the ball is in the air, players can head or chest the ball as well. Teams will usually orchestrate passes and dribbles so that the ball travels up the field so that they can score. The defending team will try and stop you by tackling. They can intercept passes, block shots, or try and kick the ball away from you and move the ball in the other direction so that they can score themselves. A defender must be careful here, as if the referee decides that they made contact with the player without touching the ball, or made contact without trying to win the ball, he can award a foul against them. Fouls usually lead to free kicks, but can also lead to a yellow card, which is a warning, or a red card, where you are sent off the pitch. Two yellow cards equals one red card. The game is played in two halves of 45 minutes, for a total playing time of 90 minutes. There's a 15 minute break at half time. Unlike most other sports, in football, when there is a stoppage in play, the clock does not stop. Instead, a referee will add the amount of time all the stoppages last for, and they will play this as added time at the end of each half. High score at the end of 90 minutes, plus added time, wins. There are ties in football, and if both teams have the same amount of goals at the end of time, this is declared as a draw. Football is a really simple game, and that's basically it, but there's a few more things that you'll need to understand before playing or watching a game. For example, Substitution. A team can change up to three players during a match. To do this, they must inform the fourth official of who they want to take off and who they want to put on. Only in a stoppage of play can a substitution be made. A team cannot change a player if he's already been sent off. Handball. If you happen to touch the ball with an arm, forearm, elbow or hand, the referee will call handball against you and possession of the ball is awarded to the other team. If you commit a handball in your own penalty box, the other team will be awarded a penalty kick. Penalty kick. If a defender handles the ball in the penalty box, or brings down an attacker with a scoring chance in the box, the referee will award a penalty kick to the other team. The ball will be placed on the spot, and any attacking player can try and score with one kick against the goalie. If a shot is scored, it counts as a goal. If a shot is missed and it goes out of play, it's a goal kick. If a shot is blocked, the ball is in play and anybody can touch it. Throw in, goal kick, corner kick and free kick. If the ball leaves the field of play, the ball is awarded to the team who did not touch it last. If the ball leaves the sides of the field, a throw in is awarded to the other team. If you touched it last and it goes out behind your opponent's goal line, a goal kick is awarded to the other team. If you touched it last and it goes out behind your own goal line, a corner kick is awarded to the other team. In the event of a foul, a referee can award a free kick to the team who was fouled. Offside Ah, the dreaded offside rule. To put it in simple terms, imagine a line that extends from your opponent's last defender. You cannot be past that imaginary line when a pass is being played towards you. If you are past the last defender before the ball is passed to you, this is offside and will result in the other team being awarded the ball. For you to be onside, you must be in front of, or parallel to, the last defender when a pass is being played towards you. This is a lot to take in, but it's one of the easiest sports to understand. If you watch a game or two, you'll probably pick up the rules after just a few matches. If you have found this video at all helpful, please like, comment, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things, and good karma is always appreciated. If you're also on Reddit, you can post this video and discuss it there. But in the meantime, enjoy football or soccer if you prefer.